Welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk TV News. This is Morgan Dyer with your weekly news. This week we will have a peek into Shattered Dreams, an interview with your NHS state recognized horse judging team. We will get the scoop on the school's new band director. Ariana Garcia will be telling us about MDA Day, another look into the future with senior interviews, and an exciting new restaurant opening up in downtown. Of course, Cole Jackson will have your sports updates, and William Ates will prepare you for the upcoming weather. Tomahawk TV News, Montec County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School. This year, the Student Council is doing a Shattered Dreams video, and I'm here with Miss Wilson, the Student Council sponsor, to ask her a few questions. Can you please explain to me what Shattered Dreams is all about? Shattered Dreams is a program that the school does every four years to show the impact of drinking and driving and the consequences of drinking and driving. Do you think that this video will stop students from drinking and driving? I hope it actually deters them from drinking and driving because it's not just another video. They actually see their friends, their, the, the people that they have grown up with. And is this video very beneficial for the school? It is. It I mean, even though they are taken away from the classroom, they are able to see different things and, and the impact, not only with the students, but the family members as well. Well, thank you for answering these questions. I can't wait to see the video. Thank you. The Shattered Dreams video will be released to the student body a few days before prom. Thank you to everyone who participated in this. Our high school horse judging team has recently competed at state. Jocelyn Wadlow is here with the scoop on their trip. Hello, this is Jocelyn Wadlow reporting with Tomahawk TV News. The Nakona High School horse judging team recently went to state, and I'm here asking Reagan Nagabar about what it takes to become a horse judger. What do you look at when judging a horse? You look at their balance, their muscle, their conformation, and their structure. What must a person know to become a horse judger? We must know the internal and skeletal structure. How can you get to state? You must place in top 15% of area to get to state. Thank you, Reagan, and congratulations to the horse judging team. Back to the studio. Be sure to congratulate these young ladies on their success. As the school year comes to a close, the Student Council likes to put on a day of fun and games for the student body to enjoy. Ariana Garcia went and got more information about this event. So are you excited about MDA Day coming I'm pumped. Up? I'm super pumped. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess. Oh man, I'm, I'm ecstatic for it. I can't wait for it. I feel like it's going to be an awesome time to get to know my friends and have a good time hanging out with everybody. No. Why not? Because we go sit outside and it's usually hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm glad we're doing it. Um, it's a really good cause that it's going towards. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I enjoy NBA Day. It's good for the whole class to get together and have fun together as a class. I like it. Okay, and what's your favorite game to play? I'm going to have to say kickball. I love kickball. We played it since I was in the second grade. It's been fun. Tug of war, I guess. Uh, my favorite game would probably have to be volleyball because uh, collectively as a class, we all play together and we support each other. Even if you're playing or you're not, we all support each other. I enjoy that. Volleyball. Nice. I've heard that, that, we, that we were going to have dodgeball this year, and I can't wait to throw some balls at people. <laughs> and how do you feel about your shirt color? It's pink, so it's okay. I'd rather be red, but the seniors have that. Um, I like it because it resembles something to us. Um, if y'all may not know, Damian Withrow, that was one of my friends yeah. who committed suicide, but that was his favorite color, and it really means a lot that we're wearing blue. Uh, I'm pretty excited that we're red. Uh, red's my favorite color, and it represents America. So. And what was your favorite memory out of MDA Day from the past? Probably be uh, when me and Braden Skinner wore the short shorts and the cut off our sleeves and stuff. That was fun. We had fun with it. When Swafford was pegging people with eggs. Definitely. Uh, I think my freshman year was probably my favorite year just because uh, when we played volleyball, we beat the seniors my freshman year, and that was, that was pretty fun. So what do you expect of MDA Day? 
I expect it to be a fun time. I just get to hang out with friends and awesome. play games. Yeah! For it to be awesome, I guess. Alrighty, thank you. MDA Day is an event we have done at the high school the past two years. This year will be our third year to participate in this event. All proceeds go to the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Once again, we have more senior interviews. We are extremely proud of all of the seniors and are excited to get the chance to look into their futures. With graduation coming up, how do you feel about it? Uh, I'm pretty scared, but I'm excited at the same time. I am nervous, but excited at the same time. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm really excited to start living life. <laughs> well, I'm ready to get out of here. That's one thing. <laughs> I'm excited and a little sad. Uh, I'm excited. What do you plan on doing after graduation? Um, attending Tarleton State to become a teacher. Plan on attending Tarleton State University, studying engineering. Um, I'm going to Oklahoma State University to study microbiology. I'm going to Tarleton State, majoring in pre-veterinary medicine. Going to college somewhere. I don't know yet. What do you want to major in? Anything I get my degree in. I'm attending Weatherford College and majoring in diagnostic medical sonography. What is your favorite high school memory? One act play, definitely. Everything one act play. <laughs> Probably just hanging out with my friends every day. Sorry. Playing softball with all my best friends. <laughs> Watching Coach Grigsby dance in basketball. <laughs> and not seeing my friends again. That's the scary part right there. Uh, probably parking in the senior parking lot and getting in trouble and getting revenge on the seniors who tagged our cars. What will you miss most about high school? Um, just everyone in high school. Probably my friends in sports. Miss going my high school? Well, not seeing my friends and loving them and just showing them respect. Colby. Um, probably my friends. Hello, this is Cole Jackson and welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk Sports. Here's this week's local sports news. Last Tuesday, the baseball team played Bowie and could not come home with a district win. The Nocona track team has had a couple of regional track qualifiers. Miriam Diaz advanced in the two mile and Flor Gomez advanced in the pole vault. Congratulations to all qualifiers. We'll have more on the regional meet next week. In national sports news, last Wednesday due to rioting in Baltimore, the Orioles and Chicago White Sox had to play in an empty stadium. This was the first time a baseball game had been played without a single fan in the stadium. Both teams had to adapt to what an empty stadium was like, and maybe it was too difficult for the White Sox because the Orioles beat the White Sox 8-2. Last week, the Los Angeles Angels traded outfielder Josh Hamilton back to his former team, the Texas Rangers, for basically nothing. Hamilton has been out of baseball due to a shoulder injury and recently had a relapse in February. This move can be seen as the Angels being scared of his drug and alcohol addiction and gave him back to the Rangers since they were the only team that could ever keep him clean. Peyton Manning, who is arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, spoke to the media for the first time this offseason. He wanted it to be known that his 18th NFL season would not be a farewell tour. This offseason, it took Manning a couple of weeks before deciding not to retire. So whether or not his comment means he won't retire after this year is still up in the air at this point. Manning just turned 39 in March. The NHL and NBA playoffs are finishing up first round play, and the second round should start soon. The biggest question right now is who will be the NBA's MVP? That's it for this week and a little bit of last week of sports. Be sure to stay tuned for more sports coverage in the coming future. I'm Cole Jackson signing off for this week's Tomahawk Sports. Next year, Nocona High School will be welcoming a new band director. Mr. Pra Patrick Flanagan will be taking over the head band director position at the high school. We took to the halls and asked a few band members about their feelings on this change. I'm really excited about the new guy. I think he's going to be great for our program, building it and everything. Pretty good about him coming in. He got three states, so I feel pretty good. I have a lot of faith in it, yeah. It'll be good. Looking forward to it. We are excited to welcome Mr. Patrick Flanagan to Nocona High School. 
Okay. Hi. Are you excited about your new job here? I am very excited about my new job here. I'm very looking forward to coming up here and, and building up the program and having a good time doing it. I hear that your past band was really successful. Can you tell me a bit about that? Okay. Um, the last school I was at is called Ganado High School. Um, it was a very successful program. We went to the state marching contest on three different occasions, the last three times that we were eligible. Uh, placed 17th, 16th, and 10th. Uh, we were also very successful in the TMEA Honor Band competition, um, which is a competition that you submit CDs for. And we were um, we placed twice at the state level in the finals uh, once, made sixth place with that. And then the ATSSB um, Outstanding Performance Series competition. That one's a mouthful. Um, <laughs> yeah. And we've, I, can't even tell you how many times off the top of my head we made it to state with with that particular contest. It's that one you enter one song at a time and so I think there's like 12 or 13 songs that we had that made it to state. I'd have to go back and count them um, with our highest placement being third in the state. Well congratulations. Thank I'm excited you. to have that here at Nocona. Do you think that you can relay that success here? I think that with the right students with a good work ethic, then yes, that's, that kind of success can happen in any place as long as you have good kids who are willing to work hard. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We had a very special guest in our studio last week to discuss the opening of her new business. Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, she is a great supporter of our school and community. Tammy Skinner gave us an opportunity to visit with her about a number of facets of her new restaurant that will be opening inside the Gibbs Drugstore downtown. The restaurant will be named the Orange Giraffe, and this is how she came up with this peculiar name. Giraffe. Well, if anybody knows me, they know I bleed orange. Nocona's my life. I love it here. It's been home to me for over 30 years, and I'm a big sports advocate. I love the sports that we do. I love... I just love it. I just love the, the color orange. So, of course, naturally, orange is it's my first thought. And then I came up with giraffe just because I like them. I collect giraffes, and it just kind of fit together. And it's kind of me, the orange giraffe. So that's how I came up with it. As all of you know, our downtown area in Nocona has gone through an extensive revitalization over the past few years. And we have asked Miss Skinner if she thought this would have an impact on her business. Yes, I do. All the hard work that all the people of the town have done to revitalize the downtown area is going to bring a lot of tourism. And those tourists have to have somewhere to eat. So I'm hoping that we feel that need in the downtown area for the businesses that are open and operating and also for the tourists that come in to our town to enjoy what we get to enjoy every day living in Nocona. What inspires someone to take on such a difficult task? This is what Miss Skinner said about her inspiration. Well, I'm always envious of people who do things for a living because like a dancer or a painter, something that they naturally occurs in their life and naturally can do. And I think it's just a good fit for me. I think working in the restaurant industry as long as I have just makes it easy for me to transition back into it. Um, I've taken a year and a half off. I've had some experience working at the elementary school and the high school here. I love the elementary school. I love the PE. I love the kids. I like being in the public. So I just thought that, you know, when this opportunity knocked on my door, I'd open it and go ahead and take it. Opening a new business can be quite a task, but does a seasoned restaurant manager like Miss Skinner believe there will be any challenges to face with her new business? Well, anything that you start new there's going to be some challenges. Uh, one thing is, I know the restaurant business. I did it at the Dairy Queen for 29 years. I know how hard the business is and how hard you have to work at it. So I'm hoping with that experience, whatever challenges come my way, I can overcome them quickly and professionally. That's my main goal. Uh, I want to have a sense of community, the people that come in there, you know, that I'm proud of where I'm at and I'm proud of Nocona. So I think that whatever comes my way, I can overcome it and, and do a good job at it. We still have the most important question left unanswered. What is on the menu? We're going to have breakfast in the morning starting at 7 a.m. It'll be your typical breakfast at a cafe, a platter, biscuits and gravy, 
things of that sort. And then for lunch, we'll serve sandwiches and salads for the summertime. And then, of course, we'll transition into having some soups later on in the year, in the fall, when, when it becomes warmer, or when it becomes cold again. Um, probably chicken salad, BLTs, things like that. The Orange Giraffe will be opening the first part of June and will be open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come see her. Good morning, Texas. This is your weather forecast for the week. Today will be clear and warm with highs in the 80s and lows in the 60s. Tomorrow will be a different story, though. We will have a storm system set over Texas. It will stay there for the next week, and we will have thunderstorms throughout the week, and the severe threat will be there. All threats will be possible with large hail damaging winds and tornadoes. This will be the same setup for the next week and will not clear Texas till next week, so stay alert all week long. Now here's your seven day forecast. Today will be partly cloudy with highs in the lower 80s and lows in the mid 60s. Tuesday through Friday we will have chances of thunderstorms that could be severe with large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes. Highs throughout the rest of the week will be in the lower 80s and the lows will be in the 60s. Now that's your weather. Myself Willie and Hawk TV News would like to wish a special belated birthday to Miss Wright. Now here's a hidden video of her eating cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for watching, Nokona. We hope to see you back next week. Tomahawk TV News, Montec County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School.